Polio is a viral infection, and most cases of infection with polio result in very mild illness, um, if, if they're symptomatic at all. Three quarters of the cases of polio infection have no symptoms whatsoever, and almost the rest of them have very mild symptoms, so things like fever, headache, nausea, which just goes away in a few days. And then a minority of cases, maybe three or four percent, it may progress and cause meningitis, an inflammation of the lining of the brain. And meningitis can be very scary, but this kind of meningitis generally is very well tolerated and most people recover. In less than one percent, much less than one percent of infections, it can cause paralysis. And it does this by infecting parts of the spinal cord, specific cells of the spinal cord that control our movements. And if these cells are infected, then it may result in paralysis of various body parts. Polio is, is very infectious, and in fact, almost all children were infected with polio before vaccination. So it's transmitted either by the respiratory route, so it can be carried in the nose and in the throat, um, and that's usually only carried for a few weeks. Um, but it's um, longer in the gastrointestinal tract, so it can be transmitted via fecal-oral um, transmission also. So obviously, hygiene is, is key to prevent that. Historically, children have been more at risk for infection because it's been a childhood disease and then they eventually become immune to that. However, with decreased circulation, if there are adults who aren't vaccinated, who aren't protected, then teenagers, adults, basically anybody at any age could, could be infected and could end up with paralysis. The polio vaccine is one of the best tolerated vaccines with the fewest side effects out of many in the vaccine schedule. So there's very little fever, it causes very little irritation such as pain, redness and swelling at the injection site. And it's also often given combined with other vaccines in the same syringe. So um, often you don't even need an extra, extra shot to get it. So we haven't seen cases transmitted in the Western Hemisphere since 1991, although there have been a handful of imported cases, and that's because the vaccines have been so successful. You know, but with the pandemic, there's been a decrease in immunization rates um, in the U.S. and then also worldwide. In many areas, um, a lot of the efforts to um, address COVID have taken resources away from public health to vaccinate children and others against polio. And then in areas of the world where there's conflict, it may very, be very difficult to provide vaccination of children. And so we have seen a resurgence of cases of polio and they can be imported into the U.S. and people who aren't protected, who aren't vaccinated, will then be at, at risk for infection. Always make sure that your child is up to date with polio vaccine and all other routinely recommended immunizations.